Hello gang, we're going to introduce the Van t Hoff equation. This is one version of the Van t Hoff equation and we're not going to use calculus, so this is geared towards a general chemistry thermodynamics class. And we're going to work this equation by looking at some graphs here. And on the y-axis of these graphs is ln k and on the x-axis is 1 over t. Now this might look somewhat complicated, but really in this form the Van t Hoff equation is just like y equals mx plus b, um, where y is our ln k, think of it like that, m is our slope, and x is like the 1 over t part. And then th there is a there is a intercept here, but we can kind of just ignore that for now. But this is very similar to y equals mx plus b, just like this. So if we plot this, y, y is capital K, and 1 over t is like our x, then our slope is going to be this right here. So the slope is going to be slope, all right, slope equals negative delta h naught over r. And if we have a positive slope, that means this whole thing has to be greater than zero. Well, if there's a negative here, the only way this can be greater than zero is if our reaction enthalpy or change in enthalpy or the heat of the reaction is no nope, other way around is <laughs> is less than zero so if this is negative so then it would be zero now if this is negative then that represents an exothermic reaction and if this is a negative slope that means our our heat of, heat of the reaction has to be greater than zero Right? This is a negative slope, so this, this would represent an endothermic reaction. Endothermic reaction. Now, what's happening in terms of the reaction? Well, let's say we have some A is in equilibrium with B. Doesn't matter what these are. Well, if we increase the temperature, right? If you increase the temperature, this whole thing gets smaller. That means ln K, which is related to k goes down so k is going to go down as we go as we go this way so in this in this case if we increase the temperature we decrease the rate con uh, the equilibrium constant k and we said this is exothermic so if we have plus q on this side so energy being released as heat over here well if we increase the temperature that's going to drive the reaction to the left. It's going to drive the reaction to the left. And K, capital K, is equal to, it's like our products over reactants. Equilibrium constant is like products over reactants. Well, if we're shifting it to the left, we're creating more reactants. We're losing products. So K is going to go down, which is what we have expected here. And vice versa, if this is an an endothermic reaction that we have oh all over the place there we go <laughs> holy moly if a is in equilibrium with b uh, that an endothermic reaction we have energy being absorbed as heat on the product side that means if we if we increase the temperature if we increase the temperature this gets smaller so we're going to go in this direction if we increase the temperature if we increase the temperature, ln k goes up, which means we increase the equilibrium constant, uh, which means we shift this to the right. And if we shift this to the right, our equilibrium constant, remember oh, it's, it's products over reactants. Well, k is going to go up because we're shifting this to reaction to the right. So we're making more products and we're making less reactants, making this whole thing go up. So that's the game with the Van t Hoff equation right here. It shows how the equilibrium constant changes as the temperature changes. Hope you enjoyed it, y'all. I've got so many other uh, videos, and uh, good luck on your midterms. Good luck on your final exams. You can do well. Hang in there. Just keep trying problems after problems, and I'm very happy to go through them with you. Cheers. Cheers.